Hello, 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 my loves. Welcome back. Stacey here, and I have a little unboxing for you all today. Um, Real quick, I just got home, took a quick shower, and I was just like, I got a box. <laughs> I'm going to open it. And um, I actually got two boxes today. I'm going to do this box first. Then while this is uploading, I'm going to go cook supper. And then when I'm done, I'm going to come back, and I am going to announce the next winner for the giveaway and we're gonna do that right on here so stay tuned for that um i figured i'm just gonna do as many winners as necklaces i have so i guess four more winners <laughs> that's that's what we're doing we're gonna do four more winners so that'll be a total of six winners total and i was probably gonna do a poll either today or tomorrow whenever i um thing to do it i'm gonna do a poll and i'm gonna see if you guys would have rather if you guys like it with more winners like i've been like i did i think my first giveaway i did three winners this giveaway will be six or would you rather have it where one person just wins the whole lot of stuff so i'm gonna do a poll later and see what you guys think I think the more the merrier because I don't know. I just like to spread the love, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. So we got with us today, the witch's moon and I'm shaking you all about. And I totally forgot what the um, theme is. So we'll be surprised together. They do tell you every month what the upcoming theme is. Like they give you like a cute little story, but I'll be honest. I didn't read this month. I just been like super busy, but I love their boxes with all the witches runes all around. If you're new to the witches moon, they have three boxes. They have this, which is the witches moon, which is the middle tier. I believe this is $55. Then they have a smaller box, which is the witches roots. And I want to say that one's either 30 or 35. I'm not sure off the top of my head. And then there is the Witch's Bounty, which is the one where you get a pendant every month. And it's beautiful. It's always sterling silver. And then whatever um, crystal or whatever they decide to use for that month. And that one is more. <laughs> Let's put it that. I think it's in this. It's either like 70 or 75. It's something like that. I... I'm bad with numbers, guys. Because it's automatically taken out of my account, I don't even... It's like a bill. I just don't even think about it anymore. Ooh. This is the um, Oracle card I received. At first, I thought it was Medusa. But this is um, a little frightening. <laughs> Her head is chopped off, y'all. Oh, this is crazy. Cinemasta. In order to grow, the soul may need to separate itself from that which it once relied upon. Oppression will be overcome. Do not cling to what has been. Sometimes the best way to heal from the past is to cut it off completely and focus on inner regeneration and reorientation toward a more fulfilling future. You shall know true love and freedom. Oh, I actually really like this card. So this definitely resonates with me. See, I don't know what it is, but the witch's moon and sugar muses every time they give me one of these it always relates to my life and me and my love we've actually been doing this like we've been cutting ourselves away from like pretty much everybody like we just stick to ourselves now we um for the last full moon after i did like my ritual and stuff i was like oh before you poke that out he burned all our old mail just to like like get rid of it like we've been just like going through things and throwing things out and just like getting rid of like whatever doesn't serve us no more I guess you can say and it I feel a little bit lighter so I'm gonna keep on doing that because I do resonate with this a lot and um it is hard to heal if you keep dwelling on the past so this was a really good card it's pretty cool I was scared at first I'm like oh my god but this is I like that a lot I like that a lot. So this will be our contents. And you know, we like to be surprised. So we'll look at that later. Oh, this is cute. This writing kills me, y'all. I feel like I'm 90 sometimes when I look at this. No, this one's even worse for me. All right, I'll do this one. Oh, maybe not. So I don't know if that's Jai Kali or 
Yai Kali, because some J's are pronounced Y's. Um, Yai Kali, Ja Kali, Ja. Yeah, I can't read that. Ma, Bavachin, Katorian to Kali. Victory to the mother of the survivor souls. I'm like mumbling because I'm afraid to. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right here for y'all to read for yourselves just because I'm going to butcher the crap out of this. And I don't know if you guys can read that, but it's messing up my eyes right now. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Do more to me, right? I'll never forget. I think it was Hestia that said that. She's like, who names these things? And ever since she said, Do more to me, right? I'll always say this, um stone like that do more to you right <laughs> do more to me right i'm sorry um yeah classification orthorhombic diplo diplomario i can't even read this geographic source austria brazil canada france italy madagascar Namib Namibia, Nevada, U.S., Norway, Peru, Poland, Russia, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka. Metaphysical number nine. Nine's been coming up a lot for me lately. Nine. Visionary number of completeness and enlightenment, emitting higher vibrations conductive to both humanitarian efforts and aspirations of limitless divine wisdom. Huh. Element air, celestial influence, Venus, zodiac, Leo, and Libra. The chakras are the throat for truth, communication, expression, transmission, connection, and assertion. Third eye is for psychic ability, per perceptivity, introspection, and discernment. And then altar major, located at the base of the skull called the mouth of the divine, center of divine inspiration. That's interesting. Description, color blue, greenish blue, violet blue, pale blue, gray blue, red luster. Vistrious, diaphanity, translucent, tenacity is brittle. It's brittle. Etymology, named for French paleontologist Eugene Dumortier from 1803 to 1873. It was first described 1881 in Chapnist in the Rhone Alps of France. Other names, blue quartz. <laughs> Do more to me, right? Is really known as blue quartz. That's so funny. All right, compatible crystals. Andalusite, barite, kyanite. I need some, I have kyanite, right? I don't know. Muscovite, I don't have that. Quartz, sapphire, starlight, topaz, and tourmaline. Magical beings. Does that say Alanos? Bridget, Anki, Anki, eh. I know this. I can't think of it. Hypnos, something, Nashi, Nus, Nyx, Orpheus, Prov Providentia, Saraswati, Seshat, Thoth, and Wolf. And then magical properties. Do Mortar Me Right is believed to be a stone of self reliance and discipline. It is said to promote patience and orderli orderliness. Orderliness. Why? No, I don't know. The stone is credited for promoting insight and aiding memory. Clara wow, what's wrong with me? Clardiance. That's what that says, I swear. But I know that's not what it means, right? Enchanting the intellect, dream, recall, clarity, and psychic abilities. It is an excellent choice for meditation and expressing one's spirituality. Wearing it enchants sensory input from subtle energies while optimizing process of the subconscious. The Witch's Moon. That was brutal. <laughs> I love these because they're so inf like informational, but like reading them to myself is so much better than trying to read them to you guys. <laughs> this is beautiful. Can we just like take a look at this right now? She in one hand she's got his head. She's got the sword. She's got this beautiful peak uh, peacock feather over here. She has a bowl of flames and her uh, trident. Beautiful flowers, seashell. I'm not sure. Oh, I think that might be a seashell too. Then she's got five skulls over here, skulls around her neck. This is beautiful. Is this Kali? 
the Divine Mother. Kali manifests a multitude of profound aspects. An aspect of the goddess Durga. Kali emerged to combat a powerful demon, drinking up its blood to neutralize its ability to replicate. That's how you do it, girl. You just <laughs> you neutralize him. You just drink up all his blood. He's done. Often portrayed as very formidable, she is typically depicted with blue or black skin, a protruding tongue, multiple arms, a skirt of severed arms, and garland of severed heads. Despite her ferocious appearance, Kali is also seen as a protective motherly figure, destroying stagnant, unnecessary forces to grant space and grace for new beginnings. As a manifestation of the Divine Mother, Kali is a fierce protector of her devotees and is invoked for strength to over overcome challenges and courage to face life's adversities with resilience. She is also associated with the concepts of time and change, revered as a devourer of time. I like this. Kali dismantles the illusions of the material world in order to confront the reality of impermanence representing the cycles of existence and the <laughs> inevitability. Why can't I talk of change? Kali embodies the pursuit of spiritual liberation to confront limitations, attachments, and ego. Kali is the creator and destroyer of all things. As a universal divine, she is time and timeless. The great expanse of eternal divinity manifested. That's amazing. I love learning about all. This is, she's badass. I want to mess with her. Oh my God, did you guys see that right there? I'm so excited because in my head, I'm like, oh, I got to know more about her. We're doing the big thing. We're just doing it because I'm freaking excited and I don't even care. Look, I stuck her tongue sticking out. I can't even talk, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. Got a million things on my head. This is so cool. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting such a kick out of it. She got the moon right here. This is dope. Oh, yeah. It's a nice wall hanging. Oh, yes, girl. I need to find a place for you in my room. I don't know why, but I, I, I think this is cool. Some of you might not like this, and I get that. It's not for everybody, but I'm digging it. Look at all the colors. Like, I, I'm digging about what she's all about, too. After learning a little bit about her, I'm like, yes, girl. <laughs> yes. That is so cool. Loving this. Oh, wait. So this is who I got right here then, right? kind of resembles her a little bit not really but you know you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying maybe you don't know what i'm saying because i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> all right this is different they put it in two bags this time i like to save these boxes i actually have a box <laughs> right there with all my um candles that i haven't burned yet I'm a weirdo. I always burn the candles from like the year before. Like, so if I get a candle for like the Sabbath, I'll burn last year's candle on that Sabbath and I'll save this year's candle for next year's Sabbath. I'm just weird like that. I don't know why. I'm just a weirdo. All right. What color? I'm going to say like some kind of like royal blue or some kind of blue. That's the, the vibes I'm getting. Let's see yeah i was right i'm gonna get so excited look at how pretty it's like sparkling beeswax candle i can't tell if they annoy you. i don't know it smells not just like beeswax so they might have um anointed it with something i love that's a i don't have a candle this color this candle is beautiful that is a beautiful color i moved you guys Ooh, what do we get cosmic intensity Let's see what it smells like, guys. Get your smell vision ready. I've been, like, so hyper. Mm. Oh, what kind of cologne does this remind me of? It reminds me of a cologne from back in the day. Not cool water, but, like, something like a lot of the guys used to wear, and I can't think of it, but it smells really good. Kind of reminds me of that. So we got our package of incense sticks. I'm going to bang goodies over here. We got bang goodies. Ooh, such a pretty purple stone. This is pretty. It's kind of bluish too, but to me it's more purple. 
This is pretty nice polished stone. It's like a decent size too. Look at that. That's a pretty girl right there. I like that a lot. This is some sand. Cranberry powder. Oh, that's cool. I don't have any of this. I have a cute little jar I can put it in. This is cool. I like getting new um, herbs that I haven't used before. And we have a little muslin tea bag. So we'll probably have some tea up in here. Some tea up in here. Passion berry. What does it say? Herbal Yasan tea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stacy's going to drink some of this later. Yes, she is. Wow, look at all the big chunks of berries in there. Do you guys see that? What? Oh, my God. Oh, this smells so incredible. I want to eat it. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I got to go cook. But, yeah, like big cranberries in there. Is that apples maybe? Mm, it smells sweet. Oh, I could sniff this all day. Yes, it's making me very hungry. So we got some really... I'm going to call it good tea because I just know, I just know when a tea is going to be good. Oops. I got some Devotional Bliss Sacred Salt. And I'm actually going to keep this closed because I have like so many salts. And I might put this with somebody's thing. So I'm going to just leave that there. Ooh, and then we got some hibiscus. Some hibiscus dried flour. It smells like dirt to me. <laughs> it smells like dirt. I just cackled like a witch too. Oh, I can't. And then we got what? Oh, a spray. Oh, I love when they give us room sprays or like aura sprays. I'm almost out of my favorite aura spray from them. I spray it every day before work. My aura spray. Oh, we got a Cali one. Look at that pretty picture. That is pretty. All right, let's shake it up. I thought I saw something red, or is that? Oh, I think that was the reflection of that. Shake it up and give it a sniff. Mm, definitely smell cranberries. Oh, is this a room spray? Oh, it's an aura spray. Nice. I need an aura spray. Thank you. Come on, little spray do that thing. Yes. Very cool. So this is interesting. I love getting things and learning new things. We're going to learn about Kali. Or maybe some people call it Kali, but I'd rather call it Kali. I don't know why Kali just rolls off my tongue. The Dark Mother. The figure of the mother has always been a very personal and powerful presence in our practice, offering a source of true divinity and a light in a world where very dark, very real darkness begins to cloud our ability to find beauty in our interactions with our surroundings. This results in us losing our joy and finding ourselves stuck in the same headspace time and time again. Only when we shed our ego and become one with the purest form of the goddess can we begin to find ecstasy in the smallest things. In this very special, dedi sorry, <laughs> I thought I was going to burp, sorry. In this very special, dedic dedicatory collection, Stacy can't speak today, sorry. We work with one of the most powerful images of the Dark Mother. We seek her incomprehensibly knowledge. Incomprehensible inco knowledge. We seek her incomprehensible knowledge. I know how to say this word. Turn to her with our pain and stand before her with our with open arms. These items have been curated for you to connect deeper, love deeper, appreciate more, and overcome the burdens that bind you. So they say a whole lot about Callie, and I ain't gonna read all that. I'm, I'm like, um, stuttering over this little bit. <laughs> but I want to know... They hand this the hand painted resin Cali plaque has been created for this very collection and it is an exclusive to the witch's moon. For almost 16 months, this Cali has been brewing within our cauldron of creations. We are finally where did I go? Thrilled to be able to introduce her to your sacred space with the intention of enchanting your magic as it is ours. Callie has been held a special altar in our home for several years after being called to her through magi magical exploration. 
Almost instantly, we connected with this divine goddess and began to dive deeper into her magic and historical rituals. Although Kali is one of the most recognizable Indian Hindu goddesses, regardless of, regardless of her South Asian origins, she is considered to be the inspiration of countless global traditions found throughout the world in art, song, and devotion. Revered by witches, Kali is known to be one of the dark goddesses, empowering the strength of feminine energy throughout many cultures. It is even said that Hecate sorry, is among her many peers. The temple of Kali span the globe. The temples of Kali span the globe, from North America, South Asia, and the deeply magical heart of Bengal. Please keep in mind that there are many, many names associated with Kali, as well as forms, depictions, and origin stories. It is very easy to find yourself swimming through a sea of information that slightly connects the dots of where Kali comes from. So I'm going to stop right there. I just wanted to read a little bit about her. So that's really cool. And I literally stopped right here, and then it has all that more. I just can't do it. So then we have our Book of Shadows artwork by Kali, and this was written by G. Ibis. This was really pretty too, I like that. Then we have Blue Quartz, or <laughs> do more to me, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, no, Book of Shadows page, that's what they were talking about. And um, that's by A.E. Alden, the artwork and everything is by A.E. Alden. Then we have a hand-rolled honoring of the Dark Mother anointed, I thought so, beeswax spell candle. We have hand-rolled this honoring the Dark Mother beeswax spell candle with the purpose of veneration. Included within the preparation of rolling the spell candle are the oils of champa, amber, hibiscus, and strawberry. These oils are intended to act as sweet offering to Kali. As you allow the flame of this candle to dance before the Kali plaque, release all of your fears, worries, and anxieties. Allow Kali to devour these just as she devours the demons in the past legend. As you stand before her, visualize your inner temple and altar. See Kali standing within this temple. Let the remaining time that this candle is burning be led by intuition. You know what's funny as I was reading that? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to connect with this goddess. Like I've been trying to work with um, Hecute and I heard she that she doesn't work with everybody apparently. Um, but maybe I thought because I didn't really know much about her. But instantly I feel some kind of like, I don't know. I just feel some kind of connection. Maybe it's my dark side. I need to feed my dark side. Then we have our Kali ritual spray and... Visualize your pain, begin to dispense. I just want to see what is in it. They created this blend with the oils of red cherry, hibiscus, and champa as an offering to Kali. Shake well before using. This smells good. Then we have our Bliss Sacred Salt, which was over here. I didn't open it because, like I said, I'm probably going to give it to somebody. Um, let's see what was in there. Heart Altar Magical Oil from our Personal Cabinet of Witchery. Oh, I skipped it. That also has champa, amber, amber, sweet orange oils, as well as rose, hibiscus, and lavender herbs. Then we have that tea that I can't wait to have some. It's caffeine-free, and it has hibiscus, cranberries, orange peel, apple, and natural fruit flavoring. It smells so good, guys. And then we have our hibiscus right here. And then I guess Kali loves red and is often adorned with beautiful garlands of fresh hibiscus among many other flowers. Then we have a cranberry powder included to inspire love and promote a healthy vitality within our practice. Cranberry powder is a unique form of the potent magical berry. We encourage you to be creative with this powder from creating magical inks to draw sigils on altar spaces, spaces or candles to placing in front of Kali as an offering ingredient. That's cool. Then we have our incense sticks and we know what to do with those. And then we have our personalized Oracle reading card, which I loved because it was right on the Monday. And then of course they always give a nice piece of parchment paper that you can include with all your writings. So it says, please know that this collection has been curated for you with care and pure intention. Our small team of only a few artists, writers, and creators have cultivated these tools over many, many months. So finally bring you this assortment of magical items. May the energy instill 
instilled within these items bring you a sense of comfort and magical inspiration. May your rituals be performed with beauty and grace. Om Krim Kali. Blessed be the witch's, the witch's moon. This, I liked this a lot. I think this is super cool and I feel like so much energy right now from her. So let me know what you guys think about the witch's moon. And I will be back with some winners, winners, chicken dinners. But I got to go cook first because I'm girls hungry. Until then, peace and love, my friends. See you soon.